All right, we are in the Mima Falls Trailhead parking lot, and we're gonna do an 11 mile loop, I think. This is the Mima Falls East Trail. And I need to start my app. All right, this is the coolest flower. I don't remember ever seeing it bloom before. It's like a bush or a tree or something. But um, we're going to start walking. And so we were talking to the lady with the horses. And this is their first time out here with the horses. The horses look like they'll have fun. So she's telling us how the one is from California. The first year the horse was here, it was really sad because it was raining and cold. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. I told her, I said, yeah, kind of like how our cat felt, I think, when we moved her here. But anyway, we're going to try and do this big loop, 11 miles. I'm really happy about that. Because I didn't think six or seven was enough. 11 will be fun. And if the trail's in this condition the whole way, it'll be easy. Really nice tread. So we're by a gun range at the beginning. We won't hear the the guns after we get away from it. Everyone comments and reviews about it. Doesn't bother me. So down this trail is the quickest way to Mima Falls. And something called Porter Creek Campsite is 22.6 miles. You, you can hike far here. So we are getting on the campground trail. And McKinney Camp is in 2.5 miles. And you have, this is the equine loop. Um, yeah, this is, I'm really impressed with the, they have got great signage so far. And they have a map so far at all the junctions. So... It's a really, really nice trail. Way better than I expected. Look at the ferns. Pretty neat. So the trees... Uh, I'm not sure what kind of trees these are, actually. They even got a little thing up the campground trail. But it's pretty dark, so I'm not going to film too much walking. Probably get a lot of blur. Oh, wild roses. Wow, that's neat. All right, we're coming up on our first bridge. Ooh, can I hear frogs? I think there's a marsh. We are on the campground trail still. Oh, that is, there's a spring coming up right there. Or is it a pipe? Oh, it's a pipe from the other side. It's almost buried in gravel now. I like how they put the non-skid stuff down here. Why did the frogs always stop when we're near? I don't understand. A lot of birds here though. Yeah, this is exactly the kind of trail I wanted today. And we were gonna do the North Fork of the Skokomish River Trail by the staircase area of Olympic National Park, but it was even wetter there today. And I did not want to hike in rain all day. We're a little farther south now and less rain. But this is gonna be fun. All right, I think we're about two miles in. And this area is just really green. 
We got frogs still. Yeah, we are still on the campground trail though. We've crossed two roads so far, forest roads. Oh, and it smells really good. So, I don't know what this plant is, but you can see down there, there's just tons of them and they're really big. Oh, there's a creek down there. Hear that water. That's why there's frogs. So I think we could end up doing 12 miles on this trail, which will be fine. Not even tired at all yet. We still have not brought, remembered to bring our water filter for places like this. We'll have to put that in my backpack for next time. Yeah, this is, this is really neat. I had no idea this was in our backyard. We passed two people so far hiking the opposite direction and that's it. And this is the last week in May. I bet this would be awesome in the fall with all the deciduous trees and the leaves changing color. We might have to come back here in the fall. We talked about snowshoeing here if we get low land snow. It's only six miles off of the interstate and it's two miles from Little Rock. So I would think the roads are plowed. It would be fun. I think I, I, I wouldn't mind trying snowshoeing on a trail like this, I think, next year. I think I'll be ready. Can't really fall on this trail. It's pretty flat. And the snow wouldn't be that deep, you know, 12 inches at most. I thought I heard rain, but I wonder if it's just another creek. And the gun range is sounding farther away, finally. Oh yeah, there's some water running here. It's a little waterfall. Tiny little waterfall, like two feet, maybe. Maybe three. Wow, so it's coming off of that lake marsh area. Oh, that is neat. All right, I had to stop and get this. It's a carpet of ferns. So it reminds me of like the grasslands area where you just see grass in the Midwest or Great Plains, except this is ferns. Oh, we had to take our jackets off. It's, I think it's only in mid fifties, but it's warm when you're hiking. I don't know what that is. A little creek. The water is not moving. So look at all these stumps, they all have letters in them. And they don't spell anything right now. So I wonder if people like spell things like this. It's kind of neat. <laughs> Never seen this before. All right, we found more stumps with letters and this one spells something. So less, turkey, 
more trot. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I want to know who took the time to do that and what they used to chisel that out. That was pretty neat. So it looks like up that way they've logged. See a big clearing. So I think those roads we cross are logging roads. Yeah, they definitely are. You can see up there. Got our first horse sign coming up. All right, so here is the trail to Mima Falls, 1.4 miles. So basically there's three loop trails you can do. This is the first loop, which would be the shortest, maybe five miles. And there's a middle loop and an outer loop. Um, the outer loop I thought was 12. I think it could be 14 or 15 now. Uh, so we might do the middle loop. We'll see how many miles we have once we get to that trail. But, um, oh, here's a sign actually. But they don't have the whole thing. So we're that little red dot. So it's the Mima Falls Thai Trail. And we're eventually getting on the McKinney Trail. There's a lot of trails here. This is really neat. And you can see where we are, just that little red square in the Capitol State Forest. And I forgot, you can't hear me very well when I do that. Wow. So they are actively doing timber work here. It says, for your safety, trails may close until 1122. Not sure when this sign was put up. Oh, it's everything to our left. They already did it, I think. So, wow, that's pretty neat. But we are gonna keep going west. All right, we are in more of a fir part of the forest now. Fewer deciduous trees. Yeah, this trail is really nice. Look, I mean, look at the tread. It's got nice duff. It's very soft. And I think we probably went close to four miles now already, if I had to guess. So about half a mile ago, we got to a point that said, entering remote forest, no cell coverage, steep trails. And I don't think it's anything worse than the Cascades, but I guess you get a lot of city folk on this trail, maybe. I don't know. We'll see if it gets any worse than this. That's why I bring our Garmin though. I do like having that in case you need to call for help. Yeah, so we were talking to some people in the outer loop. I think it's 13, 14 miles, 13 or 14 miles. I think we can do that. We'll see. I'm really pushing to do that. He said it's pretty much a lot of downhill on the way back. All right, so we're at about mile four. And look at that hillside. It's just so neat with the moss on the trees and then the ferns. And we're on an old road now. But we're on the McKinney Trail. Ah, so we're at 2.5 of 7.25 miles of the McKinney Trail. I have never seen a trail do that before. So once we get off the McKinney Trail, we're on the Mima Falls Trail headed back. Yeah, this is really neat. I got to slow down so it doesn't blur. Look at that. All of my Twilight fans will love this. I shouldn't say my Twilight fans. I should say all of my fan, all of my subscribers who like Twilight. 
So it reminded me of the movie. So neat. All right. I had to get a shot of all these ferns again. I don't know if we've done a hike with this many ferns this year. Just makes it so green. So we're about mile three on the McKinney Trail now. We have four and a half miles to go. Pretty sure we're gonna do the 13 mile loop. We're making good time, I think. All right, we made it to the middle trail. It's the M and M trail. And this is about mile five. And we are gonna stay on the McKinney trail. You can see that logging road. And go this way. So in another two miles maybe, we're gonna start our loop, maybe a mile and a half, we'll start our loop around to the south and then go back east. But um, we've been told multiple times that once you get Halfway, it's pretty much downhill the whole way back. So we're feeling good. This is gonna be our longest hike of the year. It's just, it's just really nice. We were talking to two ladies who are older ladies who are hiking the Pacific Crest Trail in Washington this year, and they were out training. It was funny because I, I asked them how the camping was, and they're like, "Oh, we're just training." They were carrying all their stuff. So it's good to see other people doing that, not just us. <laughs> Everyone's excited though when you talk to them about their upcoming hike. All right. We're gonna try and eat lunch soon though. Maybe next time we see a good spot. I was trying to get halfway done before we eat, but we'll see if we can do that. That'd be another two miles roughly, one and a half, two miles. So we're on the McKinney Trail, 3.5 of 7.2, halfway done. Oh, look at that view. Wow. So basically Highway 101, or whatever highway goes out to the ocean from Olympia is down there. That's what we're looking at. That is amazing. This is neat. I never thought I would tell people to do this trail, but it's definitely worth doing. That is awesome. Wow. So straight in front of us is the high point. There's a bunch of radio antenna. So I wonder if we have cell service now. Probably do. We're in the mist though now. In the clouds practically. So we cut that post. Oh, that is neat. Ooh, I wonder if our marmot dug that hole. That looks like a marmot hole. Or a badger, if we have badgers. Oh, I think I see a marmot. He was on the rocks up ahead. Yeah, this is neat. I like the view looking north better, but right now we're walking south.
All right, I better stop this. All right, we are back in the clear cut. So this area has been replanted. So we were talking to a guy on a bike and he explained um, the logging here. Totally makes sense. So basically all those areas we walked through and I said they, they didn't um, replant. Well, that usually happens because the logging company is a small logging company, local. And he says they declare bankruptcy and then they don't replant and they just sell all their equipment or give it to their friends and they start a new company, their friends. I mean, it's wrong to do that, but I, I, I am kind of glad that it doesn't get replanted in a way because then it's not worth anything for loggers in the future. It goes back to nature and that doesn't bother me. But if you're on the side of sustainable resource forest, then you probably won't agree with that. But we're in such a neat forest. I, I just, I wish they wouldn't log this area. It is really nice. And they got lots of areas without hiking trails that they can log in Washington. He did say Wirehauser though does a good job because I asked him, I said, what about Wirehauser? It's, it's the little no-name companies, basically, that don't do what they're supposed to. But this, it's pretty neat to see all these new trees come up. Or not, I shouldn't say come up, grow, that, you know, because they plant them. It would be neat to walk by active logging just to watch from a distance I think. I like watching it on TV. Yeah, I think we ran into like a dozen people now on this hike and every time we stop and talk it's like 10 or 15 minutes. We need to try and limit that. We're only halfway done with this hike. <laughs> All right, we are halfway done, roughly. 6.4 miles back to the Mima Trailhead on the Lost Valley Trail. And if you go this way, I think it's the continuation of the McKinney Trail. You can't really read the sign anymore. But Fall Creek Camp is in two miles. And we came from Mima Trailhead that way. It's 5.8 miles. But um, yeah, this, this is just really neat. I mean, look at the trees we're going down into now. And we've been told this is where we think we only go downhill or follow the contours. We don't really go up anymore, which would be nice, you know, for the last 5.8 miles. And there is a lot of zigzagging. Makes me wonder if we do follow the contours. But it is 2.30. We've been talking to way too many people. Every time we talk, it's like 10, 15 minutes. It has been fun, though. This hike has been really fun. Yeah, and the signage is still just really good. Amazing. And the trail's been in really good shape, too. So, I think we've been hiking for four hours. It took us... My app says six miles, so it's, we've only hiked at 1.5 miles an hour but we've talked to a lot of people. We need to up that to like two miles an hour. We still need to eat lunch. So I thought we'd be back at 5.30. It could be 6.30 now. We do need to see the waterfall too. If we do that, it could be seven potentially, which is fine. I will be fine. Yeah, this is going to be our longest hike of the year for sure. Probably one of our longest hikes of the last two years for me. Right, go back.
back into the dark. And it's it feels like it's 50, like it's cooled off. Feels good though, no jacket still. All right, we are back in the forest. With the big trees and the moss. Trying to walk slower, because it is a little dark. Yeah, we've seen we've seen a good number of people on this trail. Probably as many bikers as hikers. And the bikers are well behaved. <laughs> Very friendly. Ooh, bridge. So next time we find, I'd like to find a good log. We'll sit down and eat our hot lunch. It's a nice bridge. All right, can't really see the creek here. Let's go down here. So we're on the Lost Canyon Trail now. I hope that doesn't mean we go back up eventually. I hope it just turns into the Mima Falls Trail. Ah, here we go. All right, so the Lost Valley Trail branches off here and it kind of does a big loop and goes back up to where we, um, when we were up high in the clear cut and accesses other trails. But we are staying on the Mima Falls Trail West. Yeah, another bridge to cross. Whoa, rock moved. Yeah, you definitely want an app with GPS so you can see where you are when you're hiking on these trails and not have to have cell phone coverage. I love the Strava app is what I'm using. Ooh, it's a nice bridge. Yeah, this, this trail could be in a national park. I mean, that's how amazing I think it is. It's really nice. Or a state park, at least. Just really neat. Smells good too. So here's our lunch today, beef stroganoff. And we're worried about our stove running out of fuel. We need to get some more canisters tonight. But that is our view. We're in a clear cut area sitting on a stump on a severe slope and it is getting chilly but we need to wait nine minutes for this now our freeze-dried beef stroganoff with noodles and mushroom cream sauce and that's where we came from we have about five miles to get back but if we see the waterfall it's gonna be longer when i and i think we have to see the waterfall i could we could come back and do just the waterfall but i don't know see how we feel we just ate lunch and literally five minutes down the trail, 
there's a bench and this always happens i swear ah uh, it's all right <laughs> so we're walking in the light mist now and we just saw a truck go by on this road with a motorcycle in the back so we can drive on these roads to get to some of the other trails and campgrounds oh and it is cold i'm gonna have to put my jacket on i think if we don't get in the trees soon getting wet it's probably only i wonder if it's in the upper 40s now lower 50s at most and they have logged a lot of this area we are on the Nemo Falls West Trail though now, all the way back to the car. About five miles. All right. We are on our second battery of the day. I always bring three now. But um, I think the rain has stopped, hopefully for good. And we went about eight miles. So we're, we have four to five miles to the car. We're not sure exactly. But so far, this part of the loop is really easy. It's a very gradual down. It's not steep like the other side. And we saw our first jogger a while back. I mean, he's, he's six miles in when we saw him. No, five miles in when we saw him. It's a long jog. If he's doing the whole loop, even if he's doing in and out, he's going to end up doing 10, 11, 12 miles. Couldn't imagine jogging that much. I mean, all they have is water usually too. They never carry food that I see. I, don't, I couldn't do that. Yeah, I totally feel like we're in the middle of nowhere and we're like 15 miles from Olympia to water, basically. Maybe, maybe a few miles more, but 15, 20 miles, which is hard to believe. Oh, I just love these trees. So green. Yeah, it still smells good. Well, we are making our way down, and this is just lots of green. There's our river down there. I'm hoping we have closer to three miles left and not four. It would be nice to get 12 miles in. I don't know if I need any more than that. We might skip the waterfall though. So going down is probably the hardest on me right now because of the stress. I'm not having all my strength back and stuff. Like I feel it more in my leg for sure than going up. Oh, that is neat. It's like a dinosaur plant. So I think we've done about 1,200 feet of elevation gain, which is really good. We didn't actually think it would be that much. Of course, we were basing that on the inner loop mileage. And the farther down you go, the greener it gets. All right, this little stream is cool. Just because I love the trees and the moss covering it up.
little culvert that's going through. All right, oh, I think we made it to the middle trail. Oh, nope, we didn't. That's gotta be coming up soon. This is a good clearing spot though to eat. So we went 8.7 miles. We have either 3.3 or 4.3 left. We are not sure. The first one is based on the sign mileage and the other one is based on what people have told us. It's a little after four though. My goal is to get home by seven so we have time to relax and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I am liking these cool temperatures. Like this summer when we're hiking in 80s and 90s, we're gonna wish we had this again. We've gotten really lucky this spring, or I should say May. We've had really good, cool weather. All right, we are going down still. I love getting into these areas where you get the really big trees and some openings. Oh, that's neat. Ah, oh, the rain is coming back. See how it's a little muddier now. Ah, oh, we are to another bridge. And we've got to be getting close to the Mima Falls trail. Oh, that's a nice stream. What is this plant again? Devil's what? What? Club? Club? So this, all this tall stuff is Devil's Club. It's invasive, but it looks kind of neat. I mean, it does choke out everything else. I mean, look at it. And it's very, um, it's got thorns, spikes in it. And it likes this park for some reason, this forest. I don't know if it's possible to kill it or not. I don't know if the state cares actually. Ooh. First little boardwalk of the trail coming up. It's definitely a lot more water in this forest than I realized. A lot of creeks and streams. I want to say it's, I wonder if it's 20 miles by 20 miles, the Capitol Forest. It's not huge, but it's a decent size. we only have three miles to go. Definitely getting tired. Yeah, we'd only planned on, we thought we were gonna do seven miles today. And we're, it looks like we're gonna do 12. That's a big log down there. So we just ran into the Mum Trail coming out the other side. I didn't realize it came that close to the parking lot and the waterfall it really cuts across diagonally and makes um the inner the middle loop a way shorter than the outer loop i i want to say it's five miles shorter 
for a while I was thinking it was that old road we crossed. You walked out. There's the logging road. Oh, so we're hoping we only have like a mile and a half left. We're on the Mima Falls Trail West still. Bikes, hikers, and horses. Feels warmer again. Wow, there were some big trees here they cut down. And this area has been replanted. bugs today which is nice. I thought we would have more mosquitoes by now but it is cool. I don't think they like the clouds and the cool rain. They like sun. Still no sign of the waterfall though yet. It's gotta be close. So I just realized I looked at my app on the phone and what I thought was the parking lot is Mima Falls. So we probably do have a 13 miles total on this hike. And I think we do go by Mima Falls. So there is no detour. So I'm pretty sure we are going to see it on this hike. And I think it's in the next half mile, I'm hoping. So that'll be neat. Had a nice little shower go through just now. Trying to hold the camera up more and get less of the trail. Yeah. All right, it is raining hard now. We are still not to the waterfall. Cool bridge though. I, I feel like this is the river that the waterfall's on. And it's not huge. Oh, there's a picnic table up ahead here. Oh, Mima Falls day use area. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think you stand on it and get your metal. <laughs> oh, is there a waterfall over here? Kind of sounds like it. This might be the waterfall. It is. We almost walked right by it. Wow, not a sign or nothing. Yeah, so it's, it's all right as a waterfall goes. You don't really get a great view of it and you can't go down much farther. I wonder if you used to be able to. Uh, at least we saw it, the Mima waterfall. I wonder if you can see it from the bridge. Oh, you can't. Actually, I wonder if you're supposed to stand on this box to see it. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, this is the Capitol State Forest. So there's where we are. Oh my gosh, we have 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 
One point, we have two miles yet back to the car. That's another hour. <laughs> All right, we better get hoofing it. Wow, this is a long hike. I think it's gonna be 14 miles. We'll make it. Uh, we are on the Mima Falls Trail East now. We have 1.7 miles. So probably it could be 40 minutes the way we're walking. Kind of tired now. Trail's really nice though. We are definitely ready to be done. So I don't know if I said this before, but it's gonna be 14 miles. That's a long hike for me. I never did a hike that long last year, so that's an accomplishment for sure. And I don't know the final elevation gain yet, but it's at least 1,200 feet, which is decent. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be eight hours on the trail to do this. We think um, we had at least an hour talking to people and eating lunch, if not an hour and 15 minutes, maybe. So seven miles of moving time, that'd be two miles an hour. That's not bad. Wow, that's a big tree. Jeez, getting vertigo looking up at it. <laughs> that's a tall tree. Wow, and the frogs and birds are really out now. It's almost 545, 530-ish. I'll let you listen to the frogs. I love the sound of frogs. We're about a mile from the car. Hopefully this is our last clear cut area. And it is full blown rain now for the last 20, 30 minutes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Some mountain bikers come by. Didn't want to get them in the video. Didn't know if they wanted to be on YouTube. Surprised to see them this late. What a day. Hopefully you enjoyed this hike though, this video. It was really fun like always making it and hiking it. And I think we're out of the clear cut finally. Yeah, it's night and day when you're under the trees, you get so much less rain on you. And they do a pretty good job of blocking the rain. Wow, big ravine. Oh, this is neat. Oh, there's a nice bridge down there. We're gonna cross. Huh, made it to the bridge almost. This is the one of the bigger bridges we've crossed today. Sad to see all their graffiti. That's why I really don't like doing hikes close to the city, unfortunately. But I'm glad we did this one. Someone said we talked to there's a lot of homeless camps in the western part of the park. Hopefully it's not too bad. He said there's only two park rangers to deal with this whole capital forest. And they're not enforcement rangers. They just, you know, clean things and 
see how you know signage is I think and how things are going how the trail is kind of sad because it is such a nice park too close to Olympia though unfortunately so Seattle had places like this if it's true if it really is that bad the middle fork by North Bend used to be really bad you know there was junk cars drug users living in the woods and they cleaned it up and built amenities and, and you know patrolled it it's really nice now so that's really what it comes down to for this park you just got to put the money into it and it can be you know really nice and safe We'll see though, we'll drive over to the west side and see if it's as bad as the guy said we talked to earlier. I hope not. Oh, we have four tenths of a mile left. So basically it's gonna be, oh, it might be 14.5 miles, that's looking like, and 1,500 feet of elevation gain. And we are done. So that's taking us eight hours. So at least seven hours of moving and walking time. We kind of had an hour of not moving, talking and eating. <sighs> what a day. Yeah, this is my hardest hike. This is, might be my hardest hike, longest hike outside of hiking on the PCT. Like, I don't think we, we never really do hikes this long on day hikes. I want to say 12 or 13 miles is usually our max. Because we do a lot more elevation gain normally. <sighs> Hopefully we're able to do something tomorrow. We will see. We're going to do something. We might go biking. But yeah, this was, this was a way fun hike. Definitely check it out if you're in the area. And this might be it. I don't know if I'm going to show the parking lot again. But if not, see you next time.